it all began when i was four i went to church my parents brought me to church and i even wrote my bible it says i prayed to accept jesus into my heart today um but at the age of four i don't think i really understood what it meant to be a christian and even though it's such an easy idea to understand like like god i had never had the trouble believing in god um he was always there because um i just knew it and um it's like it's almost like when you're living with someone um you're so much different with them compared to someone that you're not with so if you're like friends with someone you're completely different with them compared to someone who you're at home with because they're just there all the time and so that was kind of like how i saw god like he was there but i never really had this like typical like, i never had this relationship with him um, and um so i learned all the bible stories i learned everything but what i was lacking was the heart and it was just difficult for me to see god as a friend rather than a distant person just looking down on me and i kind of see it as like a foggy day like if you can um, if you're out on a foggy day like you know something's there but you can't see it so like the place where i go run sometimes is called near my lake and um there's this really nice area and on a clear day you can see all the way to the coast and you can see and absorb all the beauty and the warmth but when it's foggy you can't see any of that like you know it's there but the fog covers it up and it makes you feel cold and you just don't feel the true beauty that can be there and so yeah everything um was pretty much drilled into me i was I went to Christian school, I went to Iwana, I went to um, Sunday school, and um, the meetings there were there, like, the meetings of the stories were there, even though they were plain to see. Um, but it wasn't until the sixth grade, when I went to my youth group, and I started going to youth group at um, my old church, CDC, and, um, it was just a completely different change of setting. Um, there's something amazing about being in a sanctuary with so many people with the same passion as you, or, and you just feel the Holy Spirit move. And um, there's a really good way to access God, and for me that was um, praise and worship. And so I really got to know God, and I got to experience His love um, through worship. And there are just all these different little things that um, was like God asking for his attention to me. And it was just like random things like asking for help for a test and like asking for help finding lost items. And like there was once where I was in Disneyland and my friend um, lost a bunch of money and I knew that the day would be ruined because she'd be really sad. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of selfish actually, but I prayed and it was, amazingly enough, like someone found it on like, it's a small world ride and like they returned it and um, my friend got her money back and it was just amazing. Like just these little things that God showed to me to get um, my attention. He was like saying, hello, Shauna, I'm here. I love you. I care about you. And um, uh, it was like a, that was where my journey started. Like, um, I started getting excited about God, like, um, going to church wasn't such a big deal anymore, and um, I actually voluntarily opened my Bible and started reading. Um, and one of the things that uh, really helped me were uh, the retreats that I went to. Um, it was just amazing to see how God worked and how He used those to um, get to me and um, there was one retreat where it was, um, the theme was every day, and um, everyone was just in the common room, just like hanging out on the guitars and just playing guitar. And it was just like a random thing, like everyday songs, and we were just singing. And um, all of a sudden, more and more people came, and we started um, slowly transitioning into worship music. 
and just out of the blue like everyone was just there and worshiping god and without any other thing and everyone like they're just belting the words like they didn't care how they sounded it was just amazing because everyone could feel god there and anyone who was there will understand how they felt because the holy spirit was there and i was just thinking after that retreat that that was just a little taste of heaven and heaven would be so much greater than that and i was just amazed because god brings so many of these amazing things in the most unexpected times um and there was this one night where i was just sitting there and i was just thinking and like all of a sudden um there's this grand revelation to me and i don't know why it never came to me before because it's such a simple topic like it was just a revelation of how horrible of a person i am and um no matter how much i try i can never um i can never be good i can never get on god's level i can never repay um what he's done to me what he's done for me how he took all the pain and all the suffering and all the hurt and he and he got all of that and he went on the cross and he died for me and he was separated from his father and the person um he just did that and he did that for me and i'm just doing that was just so amazing because i personally i sinned so much and like i'm just a horrible person and um how can i was just thinking about how perfection could love imperfection and how um how much grace that god had shown me and um it wasn't just one individual moment it was more of like a journey that i took um but it started way when i was little and i'm so glad that um i've had so many of my family and my friends to help me um get to where i am now um the fog has slowly cleared up and um and going to church isn't such a big deal anymore because um looking at those bible stories i can see how much um love is shown through all those things like i was just reading first samuel the other day for a while and um i was reading about um dave dan dan david 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 yeah um um and he he um just seeing his faith and um how he he went and defeated goliath and how much faith he had and he's just a great guy um um a great example of faith and it was just really awesome and how a big change was compared to when i was little when i read all the stories and they're just simple children's stories and now i can finally understand um what god was showing us through that and why it's in the bible and um the love that god showed us through that and um yeah so awana is so much more enjoyable now too because <laughs> if you guys don't know awana is a program it's really great um where you memorize verses every week and basically you just um go and it's like a girl scouts or boy scouts and um always always the verses um annoyed me so much but um now it's the best part because i can store god's word into my heart and um so i look back every now and then and i see how much i've changed and um, how much of a different person i am um i'm not a puppet anymore i'm not a robot i'm a real person and um so there's a quote that i really like it's by c.s lewis it goes i believe in christianity as i believe that the sun has risen not only because i see it but because by it i see everything else and i feel like that quote really applied to my life and it's really close to my heart because like i said everything just used to be a big fog and it was just a big blur and 
um, things were clear to me. And now, because of my faith and of what I believe in and um, what I know that God has done for me, I can feel the warmth and I can feel the beauty, um, like on a warm, beautiful day instead of a foggy, dark one. And I can, I'm awakened to the senses of everything in my, in God, and I can just experience it all, and it's such a great blessing. Yeah. <laughs>